Hi, in this video I am going to show you how you can install the latest version of Logic Pro 11.2 on your Mac device. So let's see how we can do this thing. At first we need to go google.com and start typing Logic Pro and then hit enter key. You'll find Logic Pro for Mac is there. We just need to click here so that it will be opened on the Logic Pro website. Here we are seeing the Logic Pro uh, like some screenshot and the details and on the right side there will be two buttons on is free trial and this buy in this video i'm going to use free trial so to download and install it at first we need to click here and very shortly you will find the download now button and by default the logic pro is free for first 90 days after your installation uh, on your mac so i'm going to click this download button to start download and it is asking where i want to download i'm going to download to the downloads folder and then i'm going to press this save button and it will be saved over there now once it is downloaded successfully then we can start installation of this logic pro so here it is showing it is 1.2 gigabyte of size and it will take like few minutes to download and now how do we need to do we just need to uh, start the installation by double clicking over there so i'm going to open the downloads folder now here is our downloads folder and i'm seeing the logic pro trial is there so to start the installation we just need to double click on top of the logic pro i'm going to double click and very shortly it will bring this window and here we just need to again double click and very shortly it will open the installation window now we have to press this continue button and then we have to agree the terms and condition by pressing this continue button and then here it is showing to continue installation of the software you must agree to the terms of the condition of the software we have to press this agree button and very shortly we will go to the next page and here it is showing it will take like 2.44 gigabyte of space on our computer to complete the installation i am going to press this install button now and very shortly it will ask us the password of our computer for me i am going to type my password uh, you have to type your own password over there if mac is protected by any password and then finally we have to press this install software this button once the password is correct and the install button is clicked successfully uh, it will start the installation of logic pro and here we are seeing that preparing to install and there is a progress bar once the software is installed successfully then we'll see the progress bar will be completed once the installation is finished you will get this confirmation message and there is a close button i'm going to press this close button and very shortly it is asking do you want to move the logic pro trials installer to the trash i'm going to press this move to trash so that the software will be deleted from there now i'm going to close this window now let's see whether we are able to open logic pro or not i'm going to press the confront and like command key and spell by together and this what let's search will be there over here we have to type logic pro and here it is showing logic pro application is there we just need to click here to start opening the application and very shortly it will be opened when we start the application for the first time it will ask us this type of uh, confirmation we have to press the allow button and then very shortly the logic pro uh, tell uh, this version of software will be open it is at the beginning uh, for the first time we'll see like this what's new in the logic pro i'm going to press the continue button to directly go to the uh, like application and here it is showing logic pro trial will expire after 90 days we have to press the ok button to uh, like disappear this alert type of window i'm going to press ok and now here it is showing like session player instrument we can also uh, it is actually giving us this three option uh, to download but i'm not going to download it now if i need it I can download it later because it takes some space you see like 3 gigabyte 4 gigabyte 2.81 gigabyte so if we are needed this type of uh, like things then we can download later also i'm going to close it by pressing this cross icon and very shortly we'll see this is the main window of logic pro now from here we can actually create a project for example new project and then we can use empty project or live loop anything is fine so i'm going to press this empty and then i'm going to press this choose and very shortly the main application ui will be opened now from here we can choose uh, whatever we want to do and that's it guys in this way we can easily install logic pro the latest version of logic pro on our mac computer 
Thanks for watching the video.